Good morning, St. Catherine's friends. Our vestry, our church AGM, is on Sunday, February the 27th at 10 a.m. Vestry this year marks an important moment in the life of our community. We have endured two years of COVID and we have a lot to talk about. How will we regather and build our community up again? We can at last gather together around tables to pray and to talk about our community, and we would love to see as many people as possible. Please let us know how you plan on attending. You are welcome to gather with us in the gym, and we ask that you bring your own brown bag lunch. Tea and coffee and cookies will be provided. Proof of vaccine passports will be required at the entrance if they are not already on record. We will still have Zoom available for those of you still unable to gather in person. You are welcome to join us on your own with a computer, with a shared screen with someone else, or by phone. Alison Watt and Anna Boltenko will be hosting our Zoom for Vestry. We do need to know how you will plan to attend, so please let Natasha know by phone, by email, and there is also a link to register on uh, the website under the news item Vestry. Natasha has compiled the Vestry reports from 2021 into a yearbook and it is replete with photos and it is actually a fun read. So much has been going on by so many of you. Thanks to everyone who sent reports and photos in. Please enjoy. You can access the electronic version on the website or in the written notice that of this message that was sent out. Print copies, if you would prefer one, are ready in the office for pickup. Vestry this year will begin with morning prayer at 10 a.m., whether you're in the gym or on Zoom. Following this, we will be welcoming the Reverend Rob Waller to report on the feasibility study. And together with me, we will facilitate our table conversations and the overarching theme of these conversations is on re-establishing community connection after COVID. And there will be three parts. Looking at places and programs for connection. Looking at our liturgies that meet both the religious and spiritual needs of our community. And strengthening and building neighborhood partnerships. We really do want to hear from you. The vestry proceedings and motions, along with the summary of the feasibility study report, will be sent out with Friday's email. So please look out for it. It's an important document to read. While these are uncertain times, they are also times that call us to work together toward a future of faith, of hope, and of love. And I look forward to your valuable contribution. Hear now a prayer for Vestry. Loving God, you are in the midst of us. We are tired. Lead us to rest. We are filled with doubt. Give us faith. We need renewal. Fill us with the Holy Spirit's fire. Our patience wears thin. Help us to stay in relationship. We need healing. Grant us peace and wholeness. Help us look beyond ourselves and reach out to those in need, whether they stand next to us or a world away. In all that we are, in all that we do, in all that we say, help us claim the promise of your presence and lift our common voice to you in praise and thanksgiving. Amen. I'll see you on the 27th.